Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. All right, right now we're looking at a chart of the crude oil futures. We're going to try to go through as many of these today as we can. We have quite a, a lot of things going on. If you recall, for those of you who have been following the videos along with the blog, you'll notice that some time ago uh, I called for the bottom and the crude oil to be around the $88 to $77 a barrel handle. Well, we pretty much have pretty much gone there, if you will. I mean, we're within the range now, that $10 range. We hit the low of $79.53 already. Um, so technically speaking, we still have another $2 to the downside that we could possibly test and go to before this market starts to reverse back up again. Uh, keep in mind there does not need to be any type of fundamental reason to reverse the markets. Crude oil is kind of the, the king of day trader markets and it, it whipsaws back and forth for whatever reason. Doesn't need a reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. So unlike gold and silver, you really don't need a story to help lift the market or to crash it. It just does whatever it wants to do when it does it. So taking a look at this, we see here that on Friday, the market did uh, come down and take out um, the, the previous day's low at this 79.53 handle. And we have 79.45 reached on uh, October the 27th. So technically speaking, we came down and we took out the weekly low, but we did it with a spike. All right, so that's not a confirmation. Technically speaking, that's like a bottom. All right. So what we would expect is that there will be a pos a possible bullish reversal on Monday. All right. So what you probably want to do is try to capture you know any uh, any more downside movement just in case you get some, but be quick to stop a reverse and get long if those um, intraday resistance uh, price triggers are taken out and you'll want to refer to the blog uh, for that as we don't necessarily get into price triggers in these videos we want to stick to basically the analysis alright so where do we go from here well we still are in a well-defined downtrend we're trading below uh, the long-term uh, trend line here, this blue line here. We're starting. We're trying to start another bearish lock-in, like we did here. And this is the beginning of it right here. We try. We we kind of started it on Thursday. All right. So we're gonna need another day to see if we follow through or not. The last um, lock-in when we got uh, bearish momentum and we got some negative bot checks coming in. You see, pretty much all we did was we just went sideways. We really didn't do anything, all right? That means that's not typical. That's not normal when the market doesn't normally do what is expected. That means something else is happening. So just looking at it, you can see we are trying to build a base here, okay? We're trying to build a base. But these are spike bases. This is not, you know, closing with reversal, all right? We ha we're not closing into new new lows here. We did it here, only to have it taken out on spikes and quickly reverse. All right, so we need to to be tested here and see what's going to happen. Not to mention, we're also forming sort of like a triangle. If you look from here to here, so to speak, a little sloppy one because of this uh, bullish engulfing candle here. So really, what we've been doing is trading inside of this wide range here of 8480 to 7978. So you got about <clears throat> excuse me a four dollar five dollar handle that were range that we're trading in. Five dollar range that you know it's just whipsawing back and forth in. No real direction. We need to take out this high or take out this low on a closing basis to reestablish some sort of a trend. Long term the trend is bearish. Short term we have no trend. We're not doing anything. All right. So we're going to have to watch it and see what happens. Strong possibility. I think we, we want to go down. Um, it, it's, it's just not, I don't think the downside is really over yet. 
one thing to watch too on any type of reversal move the reversal could be short-lived I think we're gonna have very strong resistance and I do mean strong resistance right up here right at this 8560 level that's gonna be strong resistance okay very very strong resistance all right reason being is because we have in my opinion a gap right here that the markets going to retest try to go in and fill at the first sign of a correction that we get all right this is where we're going <clears throat> excuse me so you, between uh, 86 83 and 8630 okay that's where your gap is and we need to go and we need to fill that so we'll go ahead and say somewhere around 8650 to 87 which is this resistance line right here okay this is where we're headed this is what we need to test and um, it'll probably lose steam and fall back down at that point just something to keep in mind alright when would this happen possibly two and a half months all things being equal if we lock back in this downtrend and just fall then yeah about two and a half months if we don't then we're looking at two to three weeks okay so just something to watch and, and see what happens here okay so um, you're looking at Let's see what else we got. That's about it on this one. Let's move on to something else. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar. All right, this is a huge bullish uh, pattern, as you can see. Uh, we are above the long-term trend line here. Okay, you got support right down here in the um, around the 85. Um, I want to say. I'm sorry, 80, about 86.74, somewhere around there. Uh, this, you have so many bullish things on here. You have a big white candle, um, which is extremely bullish. Um, you have a long white candle. You have um, a full-blown breakout into new highs. Um, not only that, but you have three white candles or three up bars I should say in the last three days um, which is extremely bullish you have a positive uh, pole scan swing VIX uh, which is also bullish uh, other than that let's see what else we got okay one thing to note is that the dollar has hit a new 14 day high but the post scan swing VIX has not so that's a bearish divergence okay so we'll have to see what happens from there another thing to note is that uh, six the, the swing VIX crossed its uh, moving average the dollars price has increased 2.54 percent and it's ranged from a high of 87.25 to a low of 84.53 which is uh, pretty dramatic. Another thing to note too is looking at the volatility readings. Uh, we see that the dollar closed above the upper um, volatility band by 12.6 percent. So prices have broken out above that that band, and that means that we see more upside coming. So pretty much everything, all indicators are bullish. Uh, looking at the technical picture for the U.S. dollar. All right. As far as fundamentals go, that makes the U.S. dollar even more bullish. There's a lot of talk of the euro being in trouble. We got QE talks. We got so many different talk. The bank stress tests. I think it was like 30 some banks that failed. All types of things going over now and liquidity issues in Europe. Europe is basically a mess, according to what the um, word on the street is. So all that's going to do is push the, the dollar up uh, further in the coming months. 
So really there's no end to the bullishness of the U.S. dollar. Uh, if you recall some time ago, I gave a prediction that the U.S. dollar, all things being equal, could hit par. So we could get back above 100 in this easily. Uh, already being at 87, we're not far um, from, <clears throat> excuse me, we've already taken out the initial uh, resistance spot that I called for. So now I think uh, we're going to make a march toward par. Let's see if we can get back to 100. If we do, we've officially re entered the massive uh, liquidity rally that we had in the mid to late 1990s. We'll be getting back to that point once we break par. Because in the 90s, the U.S. dollar traded above par that that, that entire bull run. Um, so there's one other key, though, that will really set everything on fire. And I think it's going to blow your mind when I show you exactly what we're really waiting for. All right, so let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. This is the golden bullet, not silver bullet, golden bullet. Are you ready for this? This is the chart of the NASDAQ 100 futures. Drum roll, please. This is what all the markets are waiting for. This is what you're not going to hear anywhere else, not even on CNBC. I will break the story for you right here. Are you ready? Okay. What the markets are waiting for is for the NASDAQ 100 futures to break its all-time highs. You're saying, how is that possible? Well, we're not so far away from it. We're at 41.42 and a quarter on the close on Friday. All we need to do is get that, get to that 5,000. We hit that 5,000, which we're not far away from now and all bets are off that's when we officially officially re-enter 1999 that's when we get back to that bull market of the 90s and that will start the beginning not the end of this rally that's going to start the beginning of the rally then we will be looking at the mother of all rallies we have not seen anything yet once that NASDAQ breaks 5,000, everything goes haywire. Everything goes ballistic very fast. That's when you start to see the Dow have three and four and 500 point moves upwards on a daily basis like it used to back in the 90s. The GoGo 90s market is returning. And that's what we've been seeing is a process. Everything's been moving up. The NASDAQ's been moving up too. See, this is different than 2007. Here's why it's different. It's different than 2007 this time because, number one, in 2007, the S&P and the Dow were hitting new contract highs while the NASDAQ was not. Technically speaking, the NASDAQ was barely moving. It was not participating at all. All right? This time around, the NASDAQ has been participating lockstep with the Dow and the S&P. That is the difference, which means the NASDAQ wants to break that 5,000 as well. There is no collapse coming anytime soon, not from, from a market trading perspective, all right? Not even from a U.S. dollar perspective. I know people have been crying and calling for it, but it's not coming. It's not going to come until you see it in the price action. Price action leads fundamentals. I don't care what news you hear. Until the markets speak otherwise, it is just noise. It's just talking heads with talking points, trying to score points for their political purposes and trying to find reasons to explain why the market is doing what it's doing. The bottom line is everything that can be known about a subject is already factored into the price so right now what is price telling us price is telling us we have a lot more to go 
you can name whatever reason you want for why we're going up. You can say it's inflation. You can say it's hyperinflation. You can say it's deflation. You can say it's depression. You can say it's recession. You can say it's stagflation. You can throw any term you want to at it. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is the stock market is not even begun to move up yet. We have not seen the highs. All right. Dow 20,000. It's still not going to be the high. We don't know where we're going to end up once the NASDAQ breaks 5,000. Like I said, once the NASDAQ breaks 5,000, you're going to see insanity in the market. And it's going to be worse than the 1990s. When I say insane, I mean insane. The market has to hit these highs, you guys. It has to get ridiculous. You have to see Dow 50,000, Dow 100,000. Because when everything does finally collapse, which I think eventually it will, it has to be massive. It has to be mammoth. It has to be earth shattering. It has to be historical. I believe that this next rally will be the biggest rally ever in the history of mankind. I think it will make the tulip bulb craze and every other bubble that we've ever seen look like child's play this is going to be to the point where everybody and their mother is going to be coming back into the market again you're going to start seeing more videos everyone's going to be an analyst everyone's going to be a trader at that point because in a bull market everyone's a genius everyone is making money all you got to do is just go any mini money mo buy a stock watch it go up those days are going to return and so will the volatility all right you'll see 200 point uh, daily ranges in the NASDAQ once again. The NASDAQ used to be the monster of all markets. It would have two and three hundred point daily ranges every day. And it was ridiculous. You're going to see that come again. It is coming again. So I'm warning you now, I'm letting you know now. Yeah, trade the price action. You're going to have up and down days, but I'm telling you where the trajectory is for these markets. The trajectory for this NASDAQ is to take out the all-time 5,000 high. It's going to do it before we collapse. That's what the price action is telling us. We have not seen the highs yet. We have not even seen a bull market yet, in my opinion. You wait and you see what I'm talking about. And you will remember this video. Now, when the crash comes, I have to give you the other side of the coin. Once the, the crash does happen, are you ready for this? Regardless of how high we are, regardless of how high we are, you will know that the market has really crashed. And it's not in a bear market, it's not a, it's not a correction, and all those other terms you want to throw at it. You know how you're going to know that the end of the world as we know it has happened? Well, it's already been broadcast to you. The market told you what, what to look for. Are you ready? Here it is. The 666 low in the S&P from 2009, I believe it was April. That's where you will know. Where that price point trigger is taken out, which I believe it will be when the collapse happens. And it's going to be the biggest collapse in human history. You haven't seen panic. Can you imagine the Dow falling from 20,000 or 30,000? Can you imagine the S&P falling from 3,000 or 4,000 or 5,000 down to 666 <laughs> and crashing below that? That's where the market's going to go, and that's what it's going to take out. That's going to be the new resistance, that 666. That's how you're going to know we're in that new age, that new world order uh, as far as markets are concerned. So until that happens... No new world order yet. No collapse of American society yet. Now, all this stuff can play out real quick. It doesn't have to take, you know, the next 18 months for you to start to see the fruition of things. It could take 18 days. Anything can happen. We live in a, in a world where, remember, there there's no caps in how far, you know, and, and why these markets can go and, what they, and how they can manipulate them on a day-to-day -day basis. They could really accelerate this thing. All right, so we're getting close. There are a lot of things happening in the world, I know. A lot of scary things, a lot of fake things, a lot of false flags, things like that. But 
trust me, they're not ready to take down things just yet. Too many other things and variables have to take place. And right now, we're in a bull market in the dollar and also in the stock market. And we're, you know, still in a, in a severe bear market in the, the crude oil. All right. So remember, take what you can and give nothing back.